Wheelpad is a 200 square foot, eco-friendly, accessible bedroom and bathroom that can be attached to an existing home. So it makes it that if a family member all of a sudden has mobility issues, say becomes paraplegic or quadriplegic, the minute that family member comes out of rehab, this can be already attached to the home. So they have a wheelchair accessible ramp with a connector to the existing home. It keeps families together during crisis. So while the family is figuring out, are we gonna renovate our home? Are we gonna buy a new home? What are we gonna do? That family member can be at home with family. They can roll into dinner. They can have access, but still have their privacy, their dignity, and be separate. Six years ago, a dear friend of ours had a horrible accident, ended up quadriplegic. Our team got very motivated to do something for Riley. We've kicked it around for five years. It was time to actually do something and provide this service to keep families together during times of crisis. Our entire staff at Linesync Architecture was motivated and fascinated by this. Riley came on as an advisor, as we have other advisors as well, and we were so excited to be not only doing something that would be aesthetically pleasing and just fun to do, but was really serving a purpose for all kinds of people, whether they be elderly waiting for admission into assisted living, a hospice, need in a family, someone who is just coming home from a war, any family that needs to be together in crisis to be able to provide this and have it look good was a dream come true. You'll be hitting this wood with the first coat of stain. Then we'll be uh, filling in all the cracks and the joints from here to here with uh, caulking. And then we'll hit it over with a nice coat of paint to make it all smooth. This casing and this door was all gonna be the white. With the construction aspect, we worked with construction management students, we worked with architecture students, I mean civil engineering students, you name it, anyone who was free came in and was helping give their mindset to the project um, construction wise. Working with students and then also working with Line Sync um, really helped I think the project progress. Um, so they did a remarkable job um, getting us to where we are. This last bit we've got the plumbers putting the final fittings. We got the um, electricians just did the wiring two days ago. We're all good with switches. I love that we got, you know, some lights going on here. So we'll have a ramp coming up the front with a front porch and then out the side door we'll build a connection that goes through an existing window or door on your home. It stays on the trailer and you can bring it to your home and it can stay for as long or as little time as you need it. So we vetted this floor plan and the design, not only with our friends who are using wheelchairs, but also with nursing staff, PTs, OTs, physicians, uh, home health care people. Everyone has had a look on this, and thankfully we've had a lot of good suggestions so that this prototype can be the best that it can be. So as a home health nurse, um, we're used to helping people have their best shot in their home. It's, it's actually not easy to transition from being in a hospital or a rehab environment. What I like about Wheelpad is that you actually have that opportunity for your best shot at success. Because we know people heal faster, stronger, longer, quicker. Everything is better if they can do it at home. There's a lot of light in here, a lot of windows, so that people can look out into nature or be with family, so that helps the healing process. You can run your own space here. You've got the Hoyer lift that tracks you right to the bathroom. 
eliminates a whole bunch of transfers. Bed transfers are actually something that your physical therapist will work with you specifically to learn. So there's, there's a lot more to it than just in and out of bed. To have something like this, um, I mean, I really can't even say how, how wonderful that is. Oh my gosh. It's so much easier. Like when you put them in, if you're gonna put rails in, is that you don't, you don't wanna have splinters. Yeah. So you know, a lot of people who use them wear gloves, but if still you're gonna get splinters from the wood. So I, I really should have a handrail. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There we go. This is a, just a phenomenal product because I'm not creaking. Yeah. Have you ever been in a, a trailer? They always like. Ee -ee. Yeah. yeah. Did you feel? Did you hear any of that when we came in? No. No. Just from you. <laughs> because we've got these SIP panels and they have such great insulation, it's just a fan coil unit, electric fan coil unit. It, it'll heat this place up very quickly. I, I know I like to have, I've got a dresser right next to my bed. So if I need something in the middle of the night, I can reach it and grab it. We got this special high bed um, that actually allows for rollout. So we'll, right. we'll That's make huge. those rolls. So what we'll probably do is break it up into two things. One that comes out like half the, half the bay, that's your night table. So it's not in the way of you getting to it and you can kind of always leave it open. You know, this this is easy. You can get this. You can, and then you've got. Oh, these. okay, cool. Oh, yeah. that's easy. What if the table, because it's pretty big, and if it's up, I can't get in and out of bed. But what if you could make the table so it's two parts? You wouldn't have to put it down to get in and out of bed. I think you can make it hinge all the way back. You'd raise it up a little bit, and then. Let it key down into right. its own. In its but own if bridge. you look, if it was only this big, it wouldn't interfere as much with the head of your bed. You're looking at actually all the mechanicals in this room, right wall. in that wall. The on-off switches, the plugs being being at that level. If the plugs are low, you can't reach them. So at that level, I can plug things in. Yep. So this is what one of the acrylic grabs and we wanted to have this um, not look again institutional. So we, we have these custom made. There are two of them. There's, this is the shorter one that goes over the back of the toilet. And then we have a full length one that goes sort of right here. You almost want to have some sort of grip on the bar because if it's too slick and you've got soap on your hands, your hands will just slide right off. Well, getting in and out of rooms, if you, it's hard to open and shut doors from different directions. So I can come out like this and then shut it from this side yeah. without having to back in and, and reach for it. Did you pop a wheelie there? A little. Little wheelie. You got it? I'm, I haven't got the popped wheelie bit. <laughs> My pleasure. Really, thank you. This is great. Thank you. It's very needed for a distinctly needy part of the population. Mm.